Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. How are we doing? Can we get some food jams in the chat for these booping tunes that we hear before our very eyes and ears and mouths and nose and shoulders and toes? Welcome, everybody. Get on in here. It's a bright and sunny day in Brighton, and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling a-okay. How are we doing today? And now we bring it down a notch. And now we bring it down a notch. Now we chill. Now we chill. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. How we feeling? How are we doing? Uh, Abandoned B, thank you very much for the four months. Who needs IRL friends when you have Kick the PJ Twitch chat? Dude, the Kick the PJ Twitch chat sweet potato community is one of the finest communities, if not the finest, all over Twitch. Nay, not just Twitch, the entire internet. I don't make the rules, that's just the way it is. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome. You woke up today and wanted pain? Uh, kind of pain. Sort of pain. Kind of, a little bit of pain. I want a little bit of pain. Since one of the VOD's been back. Uh, so the other day, the other day I got some of them back, not all of them. Uh, in fact, I was, I, I was speaking to somebody at Twitch today. Um, basically what they've managed to do is near impossible. When something is deleted, it is gonzo. Yet somehow, the wizards at Twitch, the absolute mad lads at Twitch, have managed to recover a portion of my VODs, the animal, some of the Animal Crossing series, some of the Stardew Valley series, and a few other bits and pieces here and there. Not everything, but some stuff. Uh, and I'm incredibly grateful for that. And I know you guys are, are as well, because it's, it's, you know, it's memories that we made together that were lost because of my incompetence. Uh, and they've been, and they've been brought back by the absolute mad lad wizards at Twitch. I don't know how they did it, but somehow they brought, they've got some of the VODs back. So not all of them, but some of them. And that's good. That's better than none of them. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Thank you, Twitch. Uh... Yeah, not the second season of Stardew, unfortunately. It was the first season when I was living in my old flat. Uh, the, the, the new season where we completed the community center in the first year, that, I think, is still gone, unfortunately. But hey. Hey, hey. Hey, ho. How's it? How's it? That's how it goes, you know. Um, Lily Ren, is it your birthday today? Happy birthday, dude. Happy, happiest of birthdays. Let's get some sweet patatis in the chatty right there. Um, so today, you might be thinking, PJ, what's the plan for today? Well, I've got a couple of things in mind. I've got a couple of things planned. Um, first of all, one thing we're going to be doing is a Marbles, a Marbles Grand Prix. Three races, one winner. So let's get on that now. If you want to join the Marbles race, type exclamation mark play in the chat below. Um, and we'll get on with that very shortly. We're going to be, we're starting off here in the, uh, the Blazing Wobbly Camp. This is where we begin our adventure today. The Blazing Wobbly Camp. Uh, so we'll get onto that very shortly. So we're going to do a Marbles Grand Prix with a prediction to boot. So I'll get that up uh, as well in a minute. Uh, and then... Uh, I actually, I downloaded a game. I was looking at this yesterday, but I thought, nah, I don't know if there's enough substance here to do it on stream. But I've been thinking about it. And you know what? I want to do it, even if it's just one a uh, one-off. I want to do it. It's called Townscaper, and it seems really wonderful. It's very chill. It's very simple, but I think it'll be a nice little something to do, uh, even if it's just for a portion of the stream, not the whole thing. Uh, so we're going to be doing a bit of that a little bit later. Uh, maybe some GeoGuessr if we get time. But the main, the beef, the main beef of the stream is uh, there is something that I didn't do in Hollow Knight um, ever. Well, other than the other day when I did do it. <laughs> I've never done it on stream, and that is the Path of Pain. It's called the Path of Pain, and I thought, you know what? I can't believe, I can't believe I did it off stream. I should have just done it on stream. So I'm gonna do it today. I'm gonna do the Path of Pain, uh, but not with the bongos, uh, just to be clear. With a controller. With a controller, not with the bongos. Um, <laughs> not with the bongos. Uh, it's... It might be possible. It might be possible. I think it would be difficult. 
and somewhat foolish. So I'm just gonna do it with the controller. Just so I can say that I've done it on stream. Just so I can, just so you can see me do it. You know? To show it can be done. But yeah. No bongos. No bongos. No bongos. Uh, you could have pre-recorded the bongo cam and just pretend. Well, God, that would have that would have taken more skill than actually just doing it on the bongos, honestly. If I had just flat out done it on the bongos, that would have been probably easier. Much easier. Um, right, so we're going to be doing that. And then we'll do some Townscaper, and then we'll maybe do some Geo if we get time. I don't know if we're going to get time for everything today. We'll see what we get time for. Um, but yeah. But yeah. B-U-T-T, -T, yeah. Uh, yeah. If you want to get in on the marbles race, guys, exclamation mark play. The Grand Prix will be starting shortly. I'm going to go ahead and start a prediction. Start a prediction. Will the um, podium feature a capital letter? I'm going to say, will the podium feature a capital uh, letter? And that doesn't have to be at the beginning of the username that can be at any anywhere in the username it doesn't have to just be the first letter it can be somebody like fertilized caviar here who the c in caviar is is capitalized but the f in fertilized is not by the way i don't think i would want to chow down on any fertilized caviar no offense but um so yeah that's that's how it is it can be a capital letter anywhere in the username and they just have to feature on the podium. They don't have to be first, they just have to feature, okay? Will the podium feature a capital letter? I think that's clear. If that is not clear, then uh, I'm sorry for not making it more clear. There we go. Use your peach bugs to say what you think will happen. And use exclamation mark uh, play to join the race. Um, Natural Logo FX, thank you very much. Or is it is it Natural Log of X? I always forget. I'm gonna go with Logo FX. Thank you for the five months. Excited uh, to have you on whilst uh, I get some swollen tonsils. Wait, so whilst I get over some sw swollen tonsils, my cat says meow to Fuji. Well, I hope your tonsils get better soon. Um, and also, meow, Fuji will be saying meow back to you, I'm sure when I relay the message. It's log of X. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Pixelated cat. Thank you for the six months. Six months already. Thanks so much for the wonderful streams and the community. I hope you're doing well. Thank you very much. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling A-OK. -okay. Uh, I've had a, you know, a nice little morning. I've been doing some stuff, doing things. I, I, I was helping a friend move out of their flat uh, this morning. So, had a nice little drive along the seafront. And you know what? It got me thinking as well. Uh, maybe I'll tell this story after Marbles. But doing a little drive, for some reason, it got me thinking about something. But we'll more on that soon. If you want to hear the rest of that story. If you want to hear about what I was thinking today on my drive. Uh, you'll have to stick around after the Marbles race. So, let's get this set up and ready to go. So, if you want to join, last chance to join. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. Hold on. Let's get our waiting music going. Last chance to join. If you want to get in on this marble race, exclamation mark play is what you need to do. Uh, Mess Bones, thank you so much for the nine months. Not been able to sub in a while, but let's go. Dude, don't even worry about it. Thank you so much for coming around and subbing. Much appreciated. Getting on this marble race. Exclamation mark play. Is the prediction up? I didn't even check if the prediction's up. Well, doesn't matter. Because here... We go, baby. Will a capital letter feature on the podium? We shall see. Three races, three winners, one ultimate bozo. If you didn't get to join this race, there will be another one after this, and then another one after that. There's a number. That's a number, but that's not a capital letter. 
High five, Mukajono. Have they done it? A little bit of slowdown. Sara, Lala, for the lowercase gang. Very nice. Solid effort. Very solid effort. Oh shit, we need to do the... the... First race down, our first winner, Sara Lala. Congratulations, dude. How do you feel? First place, first race? Not bad. No way. Yes way. <laughs> yes way. Uh, I'll see you on the podium for sure. Uh, and hopefully you get first place. Hopefully first place is on the cards. Electric Loopy Mirage. Okay. Who's ready to join the Electric Loopy mas Massage? <laughs> Mirage. When I was younger... Oh, when I was younger, I used to really struggle with the words massage... And mir no, no, uh, and mirage, yeah. I don't know why. It was just a, it was a struggle for me. And I always used to say massage wrong. I used to, I don't know why young me was saying massage so much, but I used to say samaj. I used to be unable to say massage. I said samaj. I don't know why. Um, my brain sort of flipped around some of the letters there. Zozo Rabbit, thank you so much for the six months, dude. I'm awake early enough for your stream, and I hope the rest of your day goes splendidly. Thank you so much, dude. Much appreciated. I hope you have a great rest of your day as well. You saw the title of the stream? Yeah, we're um, we're gonna be uh, uh, inflicting some pain today <laughs> on a on a on a path to complete something. Not with the bongos. Just to be clear, we're not doing it with the bongos. <laughs> The bongos are done, son. The bongos are over. Uh, writing is hard. Thank you so much for the 11 months as well. Thank you for being so chill and yet so chaotic at the same time. It is, um, I have harnessed, I have harnessed uh, both sides of the fence. It's, it's quite, and it's quite a difficult one to, to get right, but um, I, I do feel like we've, we've, we've done it here. We have managed to do it. Looking forward to my pain. There's not gonna be any pain, Mary. There will be no pain. Right. Uh, will we get a capital letter? Yeah, who is... It? I think EJ is maybe the creator. Electro Joey. Or is it Joe? Electric Loopy Mir Mirage. Right. You have 30 seconds to join. Last chance to join, guys. This is the second race of three. You gotta get in it to be Ultimate Bozo. You gotta, you gotta take a plunge. You gotta believe in something, you know? You have to believe in something, okay? believe here we go 10 seconds get on in now or forever hold your peace i'm feeling electric you feeling electric you feeling the electricity in the air everybody i'm getting a static shock just from looking at this Away we go. Food jams in chat, everybody. Tim and Joanna battling it out for first. Jace also trying to get in there. The pot is just over here. The winner will be declared shortly. Jace, heading for first place for the lower case. Where are all the capital letters? Jace confidently secures their win. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, and we have a winner. Sorry, we do also have a winner. There's one more chance, guys. One more chance. Thank you, Marble. Thank you, Jace, for racing. And congratulations. We'll see you on the podium. Hopefully in first place, but we will see. Last chance, guys. 
Last chance. Will we get a capital letter on the podium? Will it happen? So far, not yet. Let's take a real quick look at this prediction. 40% uh, are saying yes, 60% are saying no. Interesting, so the minority are actually the believers. Very interesting, very, very interesting. Well, the awesome mountain bedlam is as follows. A long drop and then a rainbow road. Oh, this is, d dude, this is, this is rainbow road. This is just rainbow road. I love it. I wanted to play rolling start, but I think we have to do rainbow road. Uh, now, the only problem is the rainbow road I've got plugged into my stream is kind of like the old N64 one, which is great, but I like the newer version of it. You know what? Fuck it. We'll just do the old version. Here we go. 30 seconds. Exclamation mark play to get in, guys. Exclamation mark play to get in. Good luck, everybody. Will there be a capital letter? On the podium. We will find out in about a minute. Capital letters don't exist, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Here we go. Best of luck, everybody. I hope you get the result you want. And they're off. Tie-dye bones comfortably in first place for the capital letters. Can they keep up this momentum? They're doing very well. A little bit of slowdown. A little bit of slowdown. Oh, no. We hate to see it. First place has been usurped. But for how long? How long, though? We have got a jam. Lady. For the lowercase. Taking back first place. Tie-dye bones, though. Saying, I want that win. It's mine. Back in the cloud they go. On the borderline, 420. Making their way down for the lowercase. Do we have anyone contesting? Do we have anyone? I don't think so. On the borderline. I can't believe it. Not a single, not a single capital letter even trying to contest first place. Ridiculous. But either way, congratulations, guys. Congratulations, one and all. You did very well. Let's get this race finished and in the bag. Man, this, that's, this music... It makes me so happy, you wouldn't believe. You wouldn't believe how happy this music makes me. All right, here we go. And the winner on the borderline. Congratulations. Good morning. It is a very good morning for you, my friend. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Very good. Well... We must now go to the podium. I think we already know the answer. But let's at least see who is ultimate bozo. I think we already know the prediction outcome. But we must see who is the ultimate of bozos. In third place, Sarah Lara. La 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 la. Jason second, which means first place goes to on the borderline 420. Congratulations, my dude. You did it. You did it. I will now add you on the borderline to the alumni of Sweet Patati Ultimate Bozos for just one day. How you feeling, dude? How you feeling? How you feeling? You feeling anything? Anything at all? A few words of wisdom for those out there who are... Just starting out in their marbles career and one day want to be a pro marbler. They want to be like you. you anything you want to say. <laughs> they are above emotions. It seems that way. 
It's oh, we have words. I feel amazing. I would like to thank my family and my love for anime. All right. <laughs> Beautiful. We love to see it. Congratulations, dude. Uh, and we'll see see you all. Wait a minute. Hold on. Also, the podium uh, did not feature a capital letter. I can now confirm. No capital letter. The outcome is no. Goodbye, Peach Bucks. Out they go into the wild. Goodbye. Good bit. Good. Good bibble. Off they go. They have anime. They do. They have the power of God and anime on their side. Which is uh, quite amazing, really. It's quite amazing. So, next up. There's something I want to do on stream. I was just talking about this. Oh, I need to tell my story first. It's not a very fun story. Maybe I'll tell it whilst I'm playing Hollow Knight. Um, right. Here we go. Let me get this fired up. So, what I would like to do is... Uh, I would like to do the Path of Pain on stream... Because I'm an absolute mad lad. And I... Because I did it off stream and I was like... That was fun. And uh, somewhat fulfilling. But nobody saw me do it. I wish someone had seen me do that. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. I'm going to quickly just check what charms are good to use for the Path of Pain. Path of Pain uh, charms. I just want to see what charms I'll need to equip. Just to sort of make for the best. Where is my pen? I've misplaced my pen. Basically, yeah, we just need proof. We need proof. We need the we need the recorded proof. Where the heck is my pen? Someone has stolen my pen. Bobby baby bobby booby. Thank you for the bobby baby bobby booby. I guess I have to use this pen. <laughs> Fine, I'll use this one. Uh, right. Let me have a quick look. Let's make this quick. Let's make this quick. Uh, so we want... Uh, Grub Song? Uh, I don't really care about Hive Blood. I kind of want to do it... I mean, we could do it with Hive Blood. Uh, more focus with also having Mark of Pride for longer nail. There's a, I think there's a better way to do it. Let me take a quick look. What do you get after doing Path of Pain? Um, basically nothing. <laughs> Deep focus. Mark of Pride. Um, you get the glory of saying you've done it. <laughs> and a bit of lore. You get a little bit of lore as well. Uh, yeah, Hive Blood is is good. Uh, they give you... I mean, we could do that. You don't... If someone says you don't need it, they give you practically infinite soul via statues. Deep Focus and Grub Song. I don't think we need... Uh, high, I don't think we need Hive Blood. Do not use Grubberfly's Elegy. The extra soul from the Grub Song energy, uh, synergy is unnecessary, and beams make Poe going off enemies. Uh, and the beams makes uh, Nick so impossible. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright. I think I know what to do. So let me get the game fired up and we can do it. Oh, I also need to get my controller. Hang on a minute. I need to connect my pro controller so I can be a professional streamer. Uh, go over charmed. You want me to be overcharmed? Hold on a minute. Hold on, let me connect my controller first. Let me go to my Bluetooth settings. Uh, okay. Add a Bluetooth device. I would like to add my controller, please. You just noticed the t-shirt? You like the t-shirt? Yeah, we've got a very angry face on the t-shirt today. Does this want to connect? Should I use a different controller? The problem is, I've got quite a few pro controllers now. I don't know which one is the one I connect to my computer. There we go, that's the one. Connect, baby. X 
Xbox Connect. No bongos, no, no, no bongos. I'm, uh, I I'm mad, but I'm not that mad. All right, I guess I need to go into big picture mode. I don't like big picture mode. I don't understand the big picture mode. I don't know why big picture mode exists. And yet it does. Oh, um, wow. Okay, hold on. Let me get the game fired up. So we're not going to be spending long on this. Just so you know, I'm going to do it nice and quickly for you fine folk at home. I don't want to... Uh, we're not spending any long... We d we've already done... We did a week of Hollow Knight, okay? So no more. Well, a little bit more. more and then we're done. Just a little bit more, and then we're done. Oh. <laughs> uh, here. Yeah, there we go. All right. Um, Robot Robotic Falcon, thank you very much for the six month, and also for the 100 bits. I hope you're doing well. What do you think of Dan's video, if you've seen it yet? Uh, which one? The, 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 the live one? No, Path of Pain is not very long. The live one he did? Uh, so yeah, I've been- I was last hanging out at the god home. Oh, I need to get out of here. Hold on a minute. Is it hard to get out of here? Also, Wonderstorms, thank you for the nine months. Ruby Sweet Patat, uh, that's pretty sweet. Thank- also, thanks so much for the last nine months, PJ. Thank you, dude. Much appreciated. How do I get out of here? Yeah, I never did this DLC, so I've also- I was just doing this on the weekend as well, just sort of chilling out. How do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? Oh my god, well, how do I leave? How do I... No, this ain't it. Uh, thank you for the 100 bits, Robotic Falcon. Uh, what do I think of the live one? Oh, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, I think I didn't get to actually watch it live, so I watched it afterwards. How do I leave here? And I, yeah, I really I enjoyed it. I thought he did a really good job. Oh, this is ridiculous. I, I don't know how to leave this place. Yeah, we're going to see a lot of pogoing. A lot of pogoing. Where's the exit? <laughs> is it? Oh, wait, is it this? No, I already went this way. Uh, I'm already losing my cool. This isn't the path of pain. Just in case you're wondering, this is not the path of pain. Where the hell is the exit? Holy shit. Let me leave. Let me live my life. Well, guys. Looks like we're stuck here. Can anybody... Does anybody know how I... There's the... This is a bench. Which is just great good to know. <laughs> this is actually why it's painful. You can't leave. Yep. This is... Oh, for fuck's sake. Where is the exit? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I knew I should have prepped this before the stream. Is it this way? Nope. Now I'm swimming. Now I'm getting my cloak all wet. Oh, here we go. Up here. Right. Why they make it so... Why they make it so confusing, huh? Why did they do this to me? Whoops. Alright, here we go. Exit. Right. Nobody panic. We're all good. Oh, shit. Uh, you alright, buddy? Get me the heck out of this junkyard. Oops, this is not how you leave. One second. Yeah, I forgot that I was I was doing this. After I did the Path of Pain on the weekend, I just I came and did some of the DLC because I'd never done it before. Uh, but then I, I forgot that I was still here. Not a bother. I just have to get out of here. I love how they've added... Uh, when they add DLC to the game, they sort of just... You access it via areas that maybe you wouldn't think of normally going to. It's kind of cool. Like, this is through the Royal Waterways. Alright, get out of here. Excuse me. Coming through. Okay. Just need to find the exit for th th here as well. Should be just up here. Don't worry, guys. The pain will start shortly. The pain will begin shortly. I know you guys want to see it. Here we go. All right. An exit. All right. Don't worry about that. Uh, 
Uh, okay, nearest stag station is probably this way. Ascend. Uh, but basically, the reason I, the kind of part of the reason I wanted to do this on stream uh, was because I, I was reading about the path of pain. I was reading about it, and people were like saying, like, "Oh God, it took me like." a week to do it and i was like well hang on a minute a week it, i it, i recognize that it is difficult it's a very difficult challenge but i did it in like half an hour on my first try and so i'm curious if i could do it again but quicker uh so i'm i'm very curious so i want to go have a look i want to i want to see if it can be done Cocky little freak. maybe i am maybe i am i'll take it i'll take it all right, where is the exit? It's up here, isn't it? Move! Whoops. Get out of here. Get out of here. So we're going to be going through from doing something very difficult to something very chill uh, after this. Incredibly chill. So I look forward to that. Here we go. All right, rest up and away we go. Uh, thank you for the 100 bits, uh, Falcon. Uh, would you ever play Outlast on stream? One of my favorite streamers called Moist Critical did a speedrun of it, and it looked interesting. Um, Outlast, is, that's the, that's the kind of, like, the scary one, right? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I don't know much about the game. I don't know if it's my, necessarily my kind of game, but perhaps. You want to do a prediction? We can do a pr prediction. Will PJ do it in an hour? I think I can do it within an hour. Alright, uh, let me bench it up. Let me get myself equipped first. Okay, uh, so I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I might do... So I might do... Uh, deep focus. Uh, thank you for the 100 bits, Falcon. It's a psychological horror game where you're invest investigating a mental asylum. Dan made a video a few backs playing it with Phil on holiday. That's cool. Yeah, uh, perhaps, maybe. Uh, I might, maybe I'll check it out sometime. So, what did I need? I needed Grub Song, Deep Focus, and Mark of Pride. Uh, they said not to use this, not to use the Elegy. Should have done it with the Bongos. <laughs> No. No. <laughs> I'm okay for, for, for bongo for, for bongo activity. I've already I've done my due diligence with my bongos. Uh do I need anything else? Maybe also the long nail? Is that overkill? I don't know. Well, I've already forgotten how to play the game. All right, you guys want to do a predict? You want to do a prediction on this? I will say I've only done it once. I will say I've. O can I get? Can I actually do it again? No way! Can you only do it once? Oh my god! Are you kidding me? I can only do it once. All hope is not lost. We have our bongo a game. Uh, we have our bongo game. I don't have all the necessary charms, though. I don't have all the charms that I would ideally like. I don't have uh, deep focus, uh, which I would I ideally like. So if I can quickly just check where to get deep focus, we might be good. Uh, hold on a minute. Let me just double check. Where do I get? Hollow Knight Deep Focus. Is this a tricky one to get? I can't remember. Let's have a look. Uh, where do I get it? Um, crystal Peak in a hidden cave made entirely of crystals. Really? 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just put my compass on. Well, that's not too far away. Uh, what I'll do is I'll quickly get that, and then I think I can do it on this playthrough, I believe. I think. All hope is not lost, guys. Nobody panic. Ah! All right, a little, you're allowed to panic a, a little bit. A little bit. I did not think I would be revisiting Hollow Knight. <laughs> Yet here we are. So whereabouts is it? It's... How do I... Where's my map? It's... I'm just going to look at my phone quickly. If I'm there, it's... If the bench is there, it's there? Where is there? Alright, hidden... Well, it's hidden. I suppose it's a hidden cave. Let's go have a look. Oh, no. All right. Left without me. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, I didn't realize you can only do it once. This definitely throws a stone in my plan. Throws a stone in the glass house that was my plan. Uh, I will say I'm very happy to be playing this without the bongos. So... I'm down here currently, and I need to be there. Okay. Move, bucker. This will just take a minute, guys. Don't you worry. This will just take a minute. So I need to go up, 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 up. Okay. Okay. There's a save file on Reddit for people who want to finish it again. Save file is 100% complete with white pass, everything is... Oh, really? I think it might be a little tricky for me to load that up. I'm not very good at doing that kind of stuff. So I might uh, just try and quickly... If I can just get this charm, I can, I can do it. I can just do it here. But thank you for letting me know. It's good to know for if anyone else wants to give it a go. Alright, further up a bit more. I'm so much more agile without the bongos. Holy moly. Right, where is it? Is it here? No. Whoa! Okay. Doesn't mean I'm impervious to damage. <laughs> here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Give me the goods. Oh, God. Okay, hang on a minute. Yeah, they weren't going to make it uh, a walk in the park, I guess. Well, this is good practice, you know, for what's about to happen. Whoa. Let's try that one again. Screw it. Easy. Never didn't have it. And that's the exit, so I need to go this away. Beautiful. There we go. Deep focus. We got it. Do I have enough charm notches for everything I wanted? Probably not. But that's okay. Don't worry about it. I think I am actually missing probably one charm notch, but it's fine. Yeah, no bongos today. No bongos, I'm afraid. I know you guys like the bongos, but no bongos. Can I get around here? Yeah, I think the Path of Pain could be done on Bongos. I mean, I'll let you see for yourself. For anyone that doesn't know what's about to happen, I'll let you see for yourself, and you can decide if you think I could do it or not. Not that I necessarily will, but I'll let you see. Oh my god, these, 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 these enemies, they want my blood. Uh, and I want to go this way. Stop, stop, stop. Hmm. 
<laughs> Whoops. I'm not phased. Just you wait. Nothing phases me. You're saying that... Oh, hang on a minute. You're saying that the title of first person to do Path of Pain on Bongos is still open. Uh, yes. Technically, it is. Technically, yes. Right. So, I don't need that. I don't need this. I don't need that. I need this, and I'll take long nail. I think that's all I need for this. Maybe. We shall see. All right. Here we go. For reals now. Watching me play with the bongos as an introduction to the game. It's very pretty. I have no idea what it's about. Uh, yeah, the story itself can be a little confusing, so I wouldn't worry if you're unsure of what it's about exactly. But uh, it's definitely worth playing. <laughs> hey, Dodger. Thank you for the raid. Hello, everybody. Welcome. We're just about to do something uh, ridiculous. Well, I wouldn't say ridiculous. Uh, we're just about to do the Path of Pain. I don't know if anybody here is familiar with Hollow Knight. Uh, but there is a very difficult platforming section called the Path of Pain. And uh, I've not done it on stream before, and I thought I would do it. Uh, last week, I did a playthrough of Hollow Knight, and I completed it entirely on the Donkey Konga bongos. Which was... Uh, which was something. Uh... Did White Palace, did Radiance, all on the bongos. Felt good. Uh, today we're not doing the Path of Pain on the bongos. Uh, because I'm only... I'm only so much... You know... Only only so much I can take. But I think we're going to do a prediction. So if you want to stick around and see what happens, you're very welcome to. And uh, I'll get that set up now. Uh, let me do... Uh, start prediction. Will PJ beat P.O.P. Path of Pain in one hour? Yes or no? Can I do it in one hour? That's all I'm giving myself. If I don't do it in an hour, I give up. Uh, let me get a timer on screen. Uh... What's a good, what's a good, t I, I could do this, I could do a timer, a Google timer, one hour, zero, zero, oh no, it needs to be one, zero, 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 zero. Uh, but, Dodger, I hope you had a good stream, I hope you had, had a good one, and have a great rest of your day as well. Uh, okay, timer is set up and ready to go, I can get that on screen now, uh, let's do a window capture. Uh, I can't tell that those buzz saws. That's uh, the buzz saws are happening in the game. For a second, I thought maybe it was uh, happening outside my window, and somebody was just going ham with a buzz saw. But no, I can confirm that is happening in the game. Right here's the timer. <laughs> Hopefully, I can do it in an hour. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. I don't know. Uh, I I can't remember if I exaggerated when I earlier when I said I did it in like half an hour. Maybe I maybe it was a little bit more than half an hour. Uh, but we shall see. What's this prediction saying? Um, choose prediction. Ninety-one percent are saying yes, I can and will. Okay. Nine percent are saying no. Okay. Okay. Very 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 heavy odds. Very heavy odds. Let's see what happens. Um, the time will start when I take my first jump. And hopefully this doesn't go terribly wrong. Uh, okay. Uh, Padfoot Puddles. Thank you for the five months, dude. Good luck. Thank you so much. Right. Why is my controller? Oh, uh, I need to... Okay. Hold on a minute. Let me. I'm going to give myself... 
an extra 10 seconds to get connected. Hold on. One. Nope, that's 10 hours. Hold on a minute. Uh, <laughs> hold on a minute. <laughs> I need to give myself one hour. No, one mi Wait, one hour? Yeah, one, one hour. One hour and 10 minutes. No, 10 seconds, sorry. Jesus Christ. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's countdown. Let's go. And we're off. Okay. <laughs> I've already taken a little tumble. Alright, hands are already beginning to sweat. Heart is palpitating. My head is feeling a little heavy. Whoa, I forgot about this section. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. First section down, easy peasy. My hands are so sweaty, you wouldn't believe. <sighs> Just get through as much as possible, as quick as possible, and then the hardest parts at the end will be waiting for me with open arms. Easy clap, let's go. All right, oh my God. Scale up, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, you can do it, Peach, I believe in you. Thank you. Right, this is where we need to come back later. <laughs> right. <sighs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> My hands are fucking drenched in sweat. Uh, this is where we're probably gonna get our first death in a minute. Hmm, how do I do this bit again? I can't remember. Do I have to? Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I have to do a little bounce. Hold on. Uh... Right. Good. Okay, it bounced a little too high. A bit too close to the sun there. Whoopsie doopsie. Let's give that another shot. Let's give that another shot. Easy does it, Peach. Easy does it. No need to rush. Let's heal up. Now, we mustn't forget. Is this back? Is this infinite? We mustn't forget that at the end of all of this, there is a there is a couple of enemies to fight. Uh, I fucked this up. Also, I don't know why... Why did I do that? It's not how you do it. Oops. There's a couple of enemies to fight at the end of this. I mustn't forget that. Because they will... They will mess me up if I'm not careful. It has happened. Not to me, but to people. You might be thinking, which... Ah! Which people? People, people. Alright, can I do this section? This section is a little perilous. Very perilous. This might take me a few attempts. Oh, wait, what am I talking about? Different section. I'm thinking of a different section. Alright. We're not out of the woods yet. How long have I got? I've got 56 minutes. <laughs> And you guys didn't believe in me. Nine percent of you didn't believe in me. It's fine. I, I wouldn't believe in me either. There's a part of me that is also still doubting myself. That part of me. Woo! 
All right, this bit, I need to remember how to do this bit. Hold on. Uh, uh. Shit. Okay. <laughs> I forget there's a little bit more going on when you get up there. A little bit more to do. Alright, let's get back in there. Never give up. Trust your instincts. Let's go again. Right. Oh shit. Messed up. Man, the music though. The music. So good. How am I not raging? I don't rage about anything. I'm a very, very calm person. That will come later, believe me. That'll come later. So I need to remember this bit. So I go... Blade comes down. Blade goes up. E. My bad. Let's go again. Go, little knight. Go. I believe in you. Ah, <laughs> oh, nuts. <laughs> Big ol' nuts. Big ol' coconuts. How are your hands? Sweaty? Same. Let's go again. really would like to get past this section. Don't like that I keep getting stuck on it. Sorry, it's just maths. It's just very complicated maths. <laughs> oh, I messed that one up. Oh, it's definitely not impossible. Definitely, definitely not impossible. It's just a little difficult. <laughs> a little tricky. Come on. If I can get past this section, I'll be happy. Well, I need to do the whole thing, ideally. Oh, no. Rats. Big ol' rats. Try that again. Big old bag of rats. Yeah, the first section, not too hard at all uh, of Path of Pain. This section. Ah! <laughs> Little trickier. Little trickier. Not impossible, just a little trickier. to get up. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh, yeah, Emily, isn't it just? It's all right. I'm messing up a bit, but don't worry. Don't let this uh, panic you. 
I just need to get... This section also gave me a bit of trouble the first time I did it, so... Shouldn't be an issue. Never didn't have it. Fuck. <laughs> I forgot about that bit. Need to do a cheeky little jump. One of those. One of these. One of them. One of these. Oh, I actually... Oh, shit. I need to BRB. Someone... Hold on. No, I, I need to I need to BRB. Uh, but I will pause the timer and I'll be back in just a moment, guys. BRB. Sorry about that, guys. I'm back. Uh, I had a delivery of turf. <laughs> I had a delivery of turf. Okay. It's probably good. It's probably a good. Uh, you don't. You don't understand how much turf as well. It was a a pallet of turf. Right. Let's continue. Uh, oh, hold on. Need to continue the timer. All right. We're back in the game. This is actually a section that could mess me up with my current loadout of charms. But we'll see. Shit. Here we go. I'm not using the bongos, no, my god, no. Shit. Motherfucking duffel bag of shit. No, no bongos. This is a... This is controller. This is PJ with a controller right now. An actual functioning controller from the year 2021, not 2003. Shit. 
No, the bong the bongos, don't get me wrong, the bongos were great. I loved using the bongos. But uh I think this would have been Oh no! That was a silly death. Shouldn't have died there. Um The pogoing would have been very difficult had I chosen to attempt this with the bongos with the billy bongos oh come on what do you want from me huh huh why do I look like that you a clown some kind of a jumping pogoing clown you want me to perform a little trick for you a little funny trick a little ha ha trick huh We're too early in the run for, to me for, for, to be losing my mind. Shit. All right, forty-six minutes to go. Should be enough time. Should be. No guarantees. <laughs> oh, baby. <sighs> okay. the woods yet. Not out of the woods yet. That was a silly jump. PJ, 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 come on. Got this. Come on. We get in there. We get in there. Last little bit, kind of. <laughs> yeah, this is a little section I got a little stuck on last time as well. So we'll see how we go. See how we go. <sighs> My controller is uh, drenched in sweat currently. Silly, silly, silly. Silly, silly.
Yeah, sorry, I forget to breathe. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Cabbages would be appreciated, of course. Come on. Just need to get past this section and we're good. Why did I do that? Silly, silly. Silly me. Forty minutes. Four zero. Don't ever give up, my son. That was death. That's death. Wrong way. <laughs> Wrong way. I was there, I was there, I was there. Oh, God. It's all right. We die, we just pick ourselves back up again. I'm, I'm weirdly now really nervous about fighting those two, the white guards at the end. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, I'm not playing this music. This is the game. 
This is the game's music. Shit. <laughs> Don't fuck it up, PJ. I fucked it up. Shouldn't have said anything. Shouldn't have said anything. So that goes much further than I thought it does then. That's fine. Here we go, this is it. Mm. <sighs> Elliot is a cool guy, and all of your cool, cool viewers, welcome, thank you for the raid. You just joined me when my heart is going 3,000 beats per second. We just did the Path of Pain. <laughs> Perfectly timed, huh? <laughs> how was your stream? Uh, how was your stream? I caught a little bit of it earlier. How'd it go? We won it for you. I couldn't have done it without that raid, dude. Oh my god, I did it. Right. Timer, stop the timer, please. Won't somebody stop the timer? In 25 minutes, not bad, huh? Not bad at all. There you go. Yippee! You did it! There's the path of pain. Never done it on stream before, so I thought. Beautiful! Thought I would jump on and quickly, uh, quickly give you guys a treat. And I believe that treat comes in the form of uh, <laughs> some peach box. Because there was a prediction. Will I do it in an hour? And uh, turns out, yes. Turns out, yes. Hold on, let me, get the, let me get rid of the game here. And let's get our tunes back on. Prediction. Choose prediction outcome. Will PJ beat P.O.P. in one hour? Yes, he will. Complete. Off they go. Off we go. And to the non-believers, I would say these words. Listen to these words closely. If you ever doubt me again, I will find where you live. And just have a chat with you and be like, what's up? What's happening? What's going on? Why, why don't you believe in me? Why don't you believe in me? Thank you, Greta. Perfectly timed. Right. Okay. Good. Hollow Knight done. I can really now. I really can put that to the uh, to the side. I can put that to bed. <sighs> I can put that to bed for now. Oh my God. So yeah, could I have done that with the bongos? I don't know. Could I have done that with the bongos? I don't know. Is the honest answer. Maybe. There's a slim. Slim chance that maybe I could have done that with the bongos, but who knows? Maybe one day, if I'm feeling particularly chaotic, we'll give it a go. Perhaps. Goodbye, Vulture Food. Thank you for joining us today. Have a good one. Have a good one. You hear? Have a good one. Uh, right, let me get the next game loaded up because we're going to be doing something else. We're going to be we're going to be doing something really chill now. If uh, oh shit, can I undo? If what we just did stressed you out in any way, prepare to chill, okay? Um.
because next, 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 we're going to be playing something called Townscaper, which is um, incredibly chill. You know what? I'm going to need to, I'm going to pause the music here, and I want to get something a little bit more chill on. What do I feel like? Um, give me the, what's the chillest you got? Let's have a look. Beautiful. Guys, welcome to Townscaper. What is this? Oh, it's the, um, it's the timer. I can get rid of that. Goodbye. We don't need that anymore. We're just going to be making... We're just going to be making a town. And you guys can help me figure out what it's going to look like. Uh, this is where we begin. These are our humble beginnings. We're in the middle of the ocean. How do I move around? Let's have a look. Okay. I can waz it around. Everybody chill. Okay. Everybody begin. Could we not get past that part in Path of Pain? Mess Bones, I did it. Mess Bones, I completed it. It's done. <laughs> 25 minutes, baby. Oh, can I turn the camera? Is that Does it allow me to do that? I realize I don't know the controls. So, I believe... It does look a bit like Luca. I believe that we can just sort of make whatever we want. Um, so let's just get... Uh, let me get acquainted with how this all works. I don't know if I can spin. I don't think I can do a little spin a Rooney. I mean... Oh, I can spin. I grab, grab an... Oh, beautiful. Oh, well, look at that, guys. We're already making magic. Already making magic. Let's make a little sweet potato uh, community town. So what if I change color of the building, does that... Mm -hmm. I like that. I mean, you could make anything you want here. You could make King's Landing from Game of Thrones if you really wanted. You could make... You could make uh, where Luca is based if you wanted. This is cute. I like this a lot. I'm trying to I'm trying to sort of gauge what I want. I kind of want a fresh start. I kind of want to I don't want the beginning little bit. I kind of want to start from scratch. Uh, is there a way to just clear it all? Wow. You can undo, you can add a grid. You can full screen. What is this? Oh. Oh. The sort of the where the sun is at in the sky. Cute. Screenshot. Okay. All right. Oh, and I can undo everything. Interesting. Okay. Wow. All right. Can I get rid of this stuff, I wonder? Should we have a look? Oh, it's, so it's right-click to delete. I see. So I can just get rid of all of this. All right. Nice. I, we start from scratch, guys. We start from scratch. Okay. This is our. These are our humble beginnings. This is where we live. This is my little house in the in the middle of nowhere. I live in the middle of nowhere, but I want to be surrounded by a bustling town. Uh. Okay. <laughs> uh. Look at these cute little trees as well. So. I guess uh, I'll uh, I'll say to chat, what do you, what would you like me to start building? What should we start with? Should we do like a little harbor? Should we do like a a full town? Like where do we begin? Where do we begin with this? You want me to build Fuji Island 2.0? You want a purple house? I'll do. A, everybody can have their own house. I'm gonna build. Uh, I'm gonna build an island for the entire sweet potato community. Okay. I guess what I'll do is I'll start with my house. And then we'll branch out and we'll do everybody, we'll do everybody their own little house. I want, I don't want to go too big for my house, you know. I want to, I want to remain somewhat modest. Uh, just like a sort of an eight bedroom house would be nice. My eight bedroom bastarding house. Ooh, with a little tower at the end. Oh, I like that. So this is my place. Just so you know, this is where I'm going to be living, okay? This is my place. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. 
little back door. I I'll 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 stay modest, okay? I'll stay modest, okay? Let's see if we can actually remember when we expand out where where uh, it begins. So this is my place. So let's make a little, I guess, like a little bridge to get out of here. Can I make this bridge a little nicer looking? Let's have a look. It's a bit of a zigzag bridge. Is there a way to make it not zigzag? Ah, okay. Don't do it at an angle. I see. I see. Cocky little freak. Was I being cocky? <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry if I was. <laughs> uh, okay. So, then the, the, the... Right, so this is going to be this place. So then the, the main town plaza. I'll make that uh, maybe a little gray like this. I basically want a moat. I want this big old moat. Moat. Let's start by making the... Uh, let's get a bit of ground to work with here. And then we can start putting people's houses in. Ooh, get this out of here. There we go. Slightly... It's a little bit ASMR, but I think we can work with that. I don't mind it if you don't. Okay, I'm a sucker for pleasing symmetry, so this is going to be a little... Painful to me to uh, to not be able to do that. Okay. Uh, so these are where my guards live, just in case anyone even thinks about trying to come over to. Oh, it that's beautiful. That's lovely. Hold on a minute. Oh, I love this. Oh my God, look, the flags, or is it bunting? Uh, no debate. Ain't no debate about it, baby. Ain't no bones about it. Maybe, you know what? I think we embrace the fact that symmetry is not going to be uh, super possible here. Actually, you know what? No, fuck it. I want it to be symmetrical. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit more color, a bit more pizzazz into my place, if you don't mind. I hate to disturb these birds, but, uh... So I wonder if the different color places have different properties, or if it is just sort of the same. Because that, does that look exactly the same? It does, doesn't it? I love this little door with the steps down. Is that a mailbox down there as well? Do I get my mail delivered by boat? <laughs> All right, beautiful. All right. I'm just going to have at it. Who uh, who wants a house? <laughs> who wants a house? Uh, all right, Sub. We'll start with Sub. They, they, they did technically ask first. We'll start with Sub's purple house. So let's do a bit of this. A little bit of pruning. Uh, we've got a little lookout here. Beautiful. There you go. Alright. That's where Sub's going to be living. Uh, let's extend. Let's, we need a bit more. A bit more space to work with here. Uh, who's next? Um... Merry Lobster, can I get a small, quaint, green house? Absolutely, you can. <laughs> nice and simple. Just a small, quaint... You know what, let's stick that just there. You know what, let's make it... Well, that's more of a... It's not, that's not as house-like. There we go. Well, yeah, with the boots, very quaint. We like that a lot. Living on the edge of society. Um, right. Mary wants theirs uh, as far away as possible. Mary, do you have a color preference? Uh, 
What are the color options? Uh, just along here. You see these up here? Those are the options. You can also have a multicolored house if you want. Mary, we need we need an answer. What color? What color? What color? We can't move on until we've done your house. Uh, Mad M uh, K Z, thank you so much for the prime sub, dude. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Welcome to the sweet potato community. Mad M K Z, do you want a house? Would you like a house? We're waiting on uh, Mod Mary to let us know what color they want. Make it red. Perfect. Uh, yeah, that's, a, that's gone a little wrong. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Jasmine uh, Sharps, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Thank you. Uh... There we go. It's all right. It's not as far away from everybody as possible. It's it's a fair distance. It would take you a little while to walk over there, I would say. Um, right. Uh, who's next? Who's next? Spacey Mad says, I desire a cozy blue house. Cozy blue house. Okay. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem. Cozy blue. You can live next door to Sav over here. Now we are going to have to start joining some of these up to, to save room here, guys. Oh, I love this. The steps down to the beach. That is adorable. There you go. Is that cozy enough for you? Um... Uh, uh, iridium eel. Can I hold on a minute? Uh, can I live in an orange archway, please? You want to live in an orange archway? You know what? Maybe we actually do this. Maybe you live in here. There we go. There you go. That's where you live. <laughs> I've re I've changed that up. I'm gonna go back and do my house up a bit in a bit because uh, yeah, it needs some work. Coaster wants a green tower. Okay, green tower. Green tower it is. All right. Let's see. Can we make a thick tower? What happens if you do this? It becomes less tower-like. It becomes more of a sort of a... Oh. All right, we need to... We need to rethink these choices. How about that, huh? Not bad, huh? <laughs> there you go. Sophie Spruce, I want an ugly ass house. You want an ugly ass house? I mean, there will be no ugly houses, but I'll see what I can do. Let's see what I can do. How do you? I don't think you can make an ugly house. How would you even possibly go about making it ugly? Hmm. There aren't really any ugly colors. Oh. What happens if you go all the way up like this, and then you start deleting? <laughs> there you go. There's your ugly house. <laughs> Jewelsman wants a rainbow tower. Got it. 
Alright, let's make a bit more land to work with. See what we can do here. Okay. Well, I guess we'll start with the red. One of each color. Oh, I see. Ooh! So that makes a lighthouse, does it? Maybe there's a more sleek way to actually incorporate all the colors. Maybe we do something a little different. See what can be done here. Give myself some room to work with. One of each color. But then we need to towerify it, so let's uh, make a layer here. Oh, it's got a hole in the middle, like donut hole in the middle. <laughs> I kind of don't hate it. feel like I'm onto something here. I feel like maybe this should have been the whole tower. Jesus. This is like an apartment block. Anybody can live here. This isn't like anyone in particular necessarily. This could be many people. And then right at the top, what we'll do is we'll do this, this, this. Aw, oh, beautiful. Uh, I feel like, no, I fucked this up. <laughs> Destroy the whole tower. I think I can make it a little less uniform, actually. I think let's make it a little less uniform. I've got an idea. I think we can make this a little better. What I'll do is I might not use every color. I might use, I might do the rainbow. So, red. All right, here, here's me remembering the rainbow. Red. Orange. Just a little little dash of everything. Just a little, little, little something of everything here. Get some green in there. Some blue. Yeah, a little purple. It's cute. Oh, I love that little, this little, oh, no, no, bring that back. I love the little, uh, sort of, the terrace area. There we go. All right. Many people can live here. Bit of everything. Beautiful. Right. What's next? Um... <laughs> Uh, that Kaliska, that might be a little difficult. A house moving castle? I don't even know how I would do that. I think we're a little limited. Um, uh, peasants, me, and Toasty Mini Mallows. There's a fly in here, damn it. Uh, have started to gather people to create a yellow market. A yellow market? Okay. The yellow market. Let's do that. Uh, what we'll do is we'll do a bridge. All right, now we did. We are trying. We do need to keep as far away from Mary as possible. So we'll try and uh, we'll see what we do. Now a market. Can, I wonder, can that be done? Will it allow us to do some kind of a something a little bit more unique here? Let's have a look. It's not quite a market, but it's. Uh, <laughs> I think we're encroaching on Mary's space here. Yeah, we need the bunting back. How, I'm trying to remember how to do the bunting. 
Or was it like this? Although... Let me see if I can remember how to do that. Oh, maybe they all have to be the same color. No, I want. I removed. Oh, that's cute. That look at this. There's a little archway here with the door just within. It's random. That makes sense. All right, let's add in some of that yellow. There we go. We got it. We unlocked the bunting. Does that mean I have to get rid of... Alright, I'll get rid of that bit. So it's not quite a market, I would say. But it's not not a market. How about that? Alright, there we go. Fill this bit in. It's bothering me that I can't carve it. Uh, Alright, who's next? Who's next? <laughs> All this construction around my house? I know. Well, we are we are expanding. We are we are expanding. Uh, Angela says, Can I can my little blue tower go next to the yellow market, please? We've decided we're neighbors. Okay. Absolutely. A little blue tower. A little blue tower. Let's do... How did we do the lighthouse again? I'm trying to remember. Did it have to be a certain height? No. How do we do the lighthouse earlier? <laughs> Not like that. Oh, shit, what did I do earlier for the lighthouse? Oh! Hey! Oh. I like that. Oh, but then it gets rid of the lighthouse. Interesting, okay. I like that it carries on the bunting, though. It's cute. Different cover, every, co different color every level. Cute. All right. There we go. There's your little tower. Sorry, Mary. We we're really encroaching on your space here. And we might even have to add a bridge here. Yeah. I like this little harbor, though. I feel like we need a bit more action. All right, who wants to live around here? Who would like a little... We're, we're giving out uh, some... Uh, just a little bit of real estate along here, along the harbor. Let's open this up as well. Let's open this up. There we go. Now it's a little... Mary, it's a little harder to get to your house. I hope that makes up for the fact that we're encroaching on your space. Burgundy library. You'd like a burgundy library. Okay, let's see what we can do. A library? That sounds like a big project. Or we can just say that there are books inside here. All right, this is the the Burgundy Library. Hmm. Join these together. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, we're gonna say this is a library. We're gonna say this is where the books go. This is where you come to read. <laughs> I'll take a nice autumn-themed loft, please. Says Mike. It happen. Uh, was that Mike or Make? Mike. It happen. Uh, what was that? Uh, and you said uh, a a. Autumn themed loft. Okay. Autumn themed. So probably some oranges and some sort of beiges, maybe. Alright. We'll add you uh a loft. 
autumn themed. Oh, I don't... I'm still kind of getting used to the controls here. I wanted to try and... Yeah, here... Oh, no. I wanted to try and do this. I've added you onto this house here. Beautiful. We've got a bit more space. Uh, let's have a look. Don't want to make it too crowded, but we, we could put another little house down here. Who would like a little house down here? Can I have a yellow cafe with an upstairs loft where I live? A yellow cafe. All right, well, the town cafe will be here. With an upstairs loft. There you go. This is where you can live. Beautiful. Alright. We love it. We love it. Can I have a small red house? Asks Gryffindor. Absolutely. Small red house. Let's throw that just here. Alright, this music feels very appropriate. Alright, who would like a house next? Uh, Celestial K, can I have a McDonald's? <laughs> sure, why not? A Mackie D's. Where can we even fit a Mackie D's? I think we're going to need some more space. I think we need to expand our island. Now, I don't want that near my house. <laughs> You know what? Uh, forgive me, I forget who wanted the ugly house. We're putting a Mackie D's near your house. I hope... Please understand. Beautiful. Very ugly. So, we need to do... There we go. This is the golden arches. M. Look! M! There we go. This is your town Mackie D's. Come get your McDonald's. Alright. Who's next? Uh, <laughs> I don't need anything fancy. Just a small purple house where I live can live with my dog. Okay, just a small purple house. Got it. Nothing fancy, just a small purple house. I got you. And you're gonna be living with a dog, you say, huh? There you go. Beautiful. Right near the McDonald's. Uh, Pinya, can you bless me with a moat? Of course I can. Do you have a preference of house, uh, house color, Pinya? Pixel Planet, can I have a pier with a theater or town hall at the end? Absolutely. Do you have a preference of color? Lowest, th lower three colors. Okay, for Pinya. So you wanted a moat? Any three colors for Pixel Planet. Doesn't this music feel so uh, appropriate for what's going on? There you go. Pin your place. And then, uh, what did Pixel Plant, what did you want? A pier with a theater or town hall at the end. Got it. This place is filling out, huh? Hmm. 
town hall at the end here. It's a shame you can't be a bit more specific about, like, buildings. And this is still a game in early access, but uh, I would love to see some more sort of, like, building options. Which I know is kind of crazy, considering there are, you know, there are so many varieties here. There you go. There's the town hall. It's a little ugly looking. Maybe we can spice it up. Very important business goes on here. Very, very important business. If I told you what, I would have to kill you. Town hall themed business. Can I get a brown coffee shop, please? Yes. It does. There's not really a good brown option, annoyingly. All right, we'll put the coffee shop near the McDonald's. Keep the uh, keep the industry stuff together. Oh, that's where you go get your coffee. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, this place is filling out quite nicely, huh? This place is filling out quite nicely. Muck Cafe. <laughs> can I have a tiny house in the middle of a star-shaped island? I can see what I can do. Star shape, huh? Let's see what I can do here. Yeah. Bum bum ba dum ba da dum Not me trying to remember the what the shape of a star is. I mean that's technically a star. <laughs> da 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 You know what? You can sail to the mainland. If you want to get to the mainland, you sail. <laughs> There you go. There's your star-shaped house. Beautiful. Can I have a... Uh, can, can I please have a hole or a well to live in? Asks the Rhea. A hole or a well? That might be a little tricky. I can't... I don't know if I can do a well. I can do a hole. There you go. You live in there. You live in this hole, Aria. Uh The house is, can be claimed by anyone else. Anyone who wants it can claim that. But the hole, that is for the rear. Zizify wants a church. Do you have a preference of color for the church? What, pre what color would you like the, for the church to be? What do we have here? <laughs> We are making an island. NB colors? Let me check. I don't want to get it wrong. Um, ba -ba. I might not actually not have access to all the colors. Uh, I can, I can do as many as the game will allow me. Ba -ba. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Hmm. Um, 
The game doesn't really give us a, the color black, unfortunately. I wish it did. Why is this game saying no, <laughs> no black houses? Hmm. I can. This is. I can do. I can do these three colors. Wait. Was it light? Wait. We said. Was it? It was lighthouse, wasn't it? Sorry. Or a, ta a tower of some kind. Ah, oh, beautiful. Be oh, a church? Sorry, a church. My bad. Um. Oh, beautiful. Oops. This is a holy place. Kind of lost its church like feeling. <laughs> Let's go back to basics, I think. Keep it simple. Nice and simple. Da -da, da -da. Next Jubilee movie will be set in this town. Oh, I hope so. Aska, thank you so much for the 13 months, dude. Much appreciated. Would you like a house, Aska? Would you like a house? A house in the sky, blue or purple, blue, purple, and or pink. Blue, purple, and pink, okay. House in the sky, you say? This should be interesting. Let's have a look. Oh, I realize I've got a couple of questions here. We'll do that in just a moment. Um, in the sky, okay. I'm gonna need to redo my house at one point. Da, da, da. So, if we want to get in the sky, let's see what we have to do. Reminds me a bit of Spirit Pharaoh in a way. So this is obviously this is this is gonna be real estate that other people can build around. But we will we will go to the sky. the best pink color, unfortunately. Bum, bum, bum. We're going big. We're going tall. <laughs> right. So... Mafalda asks, can I have a cute yellow house in the middle of the water? Absolutely. Well, why not here? This is water. This is in the middle. There you go. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. That is. You know what? I'm going to cut off. I'm going to cut this off. If you want to get there, you go the long way. You go the long way. You hear me? Uh, Metalicious asks, I suggest a red and green twin house next to each other in honor of Luigi and Mario. That's a wonderful idea. Absolutely wonderful idea. Uh, Mario and Luigi house. Let's put that. Let's put that over here. Oh, I love it. The Mario and the Weed. Mario's house gets to be a little bigger because he's more famous. 
But Luigi, what Mario doesn't realize is Luigi managed to get himself a nice little back back garden. He managed to get himself a nice little slice of something. Very nice. Very nice. It's coming together, guys. It's coming together. Uh, I'm going to work on my house, I think. I'm going to make my house a little better. I'm now My house is now being overshadowed by everyone else's cool houses. So I'm going to demolish my place and start mine over. <laughs> so hold, we're going to... Oh, birds! we got birds! Look! We've got a flock of seagulls. house that PJ built. <laughs> PJ's castle, here we go. <laughs> the final boss lives here. But first you have to reach the top. Big, give me a big old castle. With a garden out here. Where I spend my evenings. This is my workshop. This is where I come to get creative. We'll make that. Oh shit. We'll make that blue. My little mailbox is where they come and deliver the mail via boat. <laughs> okay, very humble, yeah. I, I, I just wanted to keep it humble, guys. I just want you to remember, no matter, you know, where I get in life, no matter where I go, I want you to know that I'm, a hu I'm humble, I'm modest, I'm very handsome, and I'm brilliant. But most importantly, I'm humble. It is you guys, it's you guys that humble me. <laughs> This is my district. This is where I live, okay? If anybody steps foot over here, I will throw you into the ocean. You will be thrown into the ocean. Keep it sort of green. Beautiful. Oh, I need a little place for Fuji to live as well. All right. I'm just going to quickly add Fuji's place on. It will be gray in her honor. I guess gray and white. The Tower of Fuji. So this is my this is my palace. This is where I reside, okay? It's my my home, my workshop, Fuji's home. <laughs> right. Who's next? Black Pantaloon asks, "Can we have a magic green and purple tower for wizards?" Absolutely. Green and purple. All right. So where does the wizard live? Let's do it over here. Hang on a minute. 
Nope, that's not gonna work. I have a I have an idea in my mind. What if I do this? Oh. Wizard tower for wizarding. Nobody's seen the wizard for 73 years. The last time he came into town, it was to buy some donuts. We don't know what he did with those donuts, but we never saw him again. No, we did not. Some say they see him at night, digging through the trash for thrown away donuts. Now, I can't attest to this, I haven't seen it with my own eyes. But I will be willing to believe it. Right, who's next? Who would like a place next? Little Red Post Office, please. Yep. We'll put the post office over here. That's the post office. <laughs> Big post office. A lot of stuff goes on here. A lot of very important postal activities. <laughs> Can I have a little pink house under a bridge? Hmm. Let's have a look. What will happen if I put it here? It's not necessarily a bridge, but it's under the post office. It's quite cute. Yeah, there you go. And you can get to it via... You walk through here. You can get to it via there. Nice. Nice. A grey gothic tower or cottage. Let's have a look what we can do. Let's have a look what we can do. Gothic. Yeah, I wish I had some more options for, like, uh, different colour schemes and stuff. Would be cool, you know. Uh, cottage. That's the closest to grey I can go. I don't like how that's sort of joining up though. Alright. We're going a little bigger there. It's maybe not quite a cottage. Uh... Ooh, what about this? Four little cottages. Is Sk City Skylines up your alley? I don't know, you know. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. It might be. It might be. Let's have a look at it. Do we have any other good music for this? Any other... Try it. What? what about... Hang on a minute. Whoops. You've been enjoying it? It could be cool. The post office is on your property? Uh-oh. You're gonna have to learn to live with it, I'm afraid. You have to learn to live with it. Town is growing. Holy hand grenade. Thank you for the 11 months. Love the username. 
Is that a Worms reference? Can I have a little shop with a terrace? Can it be purple and orange? Absolutely. Oh, it's a Monty Python reference, of course. Wonderful. Maybe, uh, maybe Worms is actually referencing Monty Python, then. We probably still don't have a harbor, no. <laughs> no one's visiting this town. <laughs> Greenhouse under the sky house? Absolutely. It's kind of like a block of apartments. Anyone who wants to seek residence can do so here. Anyone who needs a place to live. Make a bit of a plaza back here. Sort of exclusive. If you live in the building, you get to you you know, you get to utilize the plaza to its maximum. I hate that I can't make it nice and rounded. Dun 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 Now we're in the property development game. A cute little orange-brown bookshop. Let's have a look. Orange-brown. Uh, I don't believe we have brown. I can do orange and sort of beige. Music. I'm trying to think of like what's good music for this. What kind of game, what video games are there that take place on like a little island of some kind? What video game would be appropriate for, for this? Oh, I want to kind of, I kind of want like, um, stuff that takes place like at a port or a, oh, Wind Waker. But yeah, Animal Crossing is also a good shout. Dawnavern, thank you very much for the 11 months. Just getting here today, uh, uh, but excited to see this town. Thanks for 11 months of fun streams. Thank you very much, dude. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Yeah, the town's coming along well. The town is coming along well. There we go. Here's the coffee shop. Just up here. Beautiful, beautiful. A tiny white doghouse in the middle of the town. <laughs> there you go. Doghouse. Unfortunately, I can't specify. I can't make it specifically for dogs. Lovely. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, we've got many coffee shops here on this island. Many, many coffee shops. 
Could I have a white and yellow house near the great castle? Maybe star-shaped. Which one's the great castle? My castle. <laughs> you can have it near. Nearby. Near-ish. What colors did you say? White and yellow? It's quite difficult to get a star looking looking good here. But I can do this. It's not quite a star. I think you'll agree, but... A lot of popping going on. We're experimenting. This is ugly. <laughs> this is this went from being kind of cute to very ugly. Hold on a minute. Uh, hold on. We need, uh, we need, uh, something a little different. Oh, what about this? Now we're jamming. Can we do a snow white island in all white where it's mysteriously where it's mysteriously a lot colder than the rest of the town? Absolutely. Very cold area. Beautiful. Oh no, Mary's house. I'm sorry, Mary. You wanted a place away from civilization, but you uh you built too early. You built a little too early, and now, uh, unfortunately, you're paying the price. They said away from my place. <laughs> Generic okay. Thank you so much for the Prime Sub, dude. I appreciate it very much. Can I have a red house by the sea? So I can write all my horrifying creation station submissions in. Archway and scaffolding preferred. Let's have a look. Starting to run out of space. There we go. Best of both worlds. Archway and scaffolding. A majority of my job is wiggling babies, so can I have a proper baby wiggling house? Sure. I don't know exactly what that would entail uh, or how that would even look, but you know what? Oh, I don't want to put it there, though. I want to go... This. Mm, nope. I'm not feeling that. Oh, this is it. This is the jam. This is my jam. This is my jam. 
There you go. Here's your little house. Beautiful. Mary's house is being, uh, <laughs> built upon. This town needs a villain's lair, don't you think? I mean, I would argue we probably, um... <laughs> we probably already have the villain's lair just here, uh, but you know what? Uh, uh, we can do another one on the other side of town. Da, 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 da. And we'll do it in red, so you know it's very threatening. This looks like more like a prison. <laughs> Maybe this is the jail system. We, we were bound to need one. We were gonna need one sooner or later. Yeah, this is gonna. This is the prison where we send all the. This is basically Alcatraz. <laughs> We've made Alcatraz. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Stop! You violated the law. Oh, I ain't going to Alcatraz. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Uh, I guess the inmates need like an outside area, don't they? Do you think we're the first people to build a jail in Townscaper? small outdoor area. Oh! You can do a garden! You can do a garden, guys. This changes everything. This changes everything. Uh, let's expand. There we go. There's the uh, there's the jail. That's where we send all the bad people. Fanciest drunk jail I've ever seen. <laughs> well, it was yeah. It was uh, maybe. I feel like this needs uh, just a tiny bit of modifying still. I don't want to actually give it a bit of a moat around. Oh, that's quite cool, actually. I like that door that goes out. Hold on. Shit, no. Yeah, I like that. Prisoners arrive by boat. I don't know why I'm spending so long on the, uh, I don't know why I'm spending so long on the prison. <laughs> I 
Oh, so we don't get the garden this way. I see. Maybe that's fine. Maybe a garden is too luxury anyway. Guards towers on the corners. Beautiful. There we go. That's the jail. That's where we send all the uh, all the naughty people. Right, what's next, guys? What's next? Can I have an orange and white house on the edge of town with a big balcony? Orange and white on the edge of town. Balcony, huh? See if we can do this. You said big balcony. Big balcony. Yeah, gardens would be... Maybe, should we try and do a garden here? Should we try and put a garden around the, on this balcony? Now that we know that we can literally do gardens, there you go. You've got a garden balcony. How about that? Not many people have that. Not many people have that. House, tiny house under the balcony. <laughs> Very cute. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to live under that, <laughs> just realizing that. But you know what? It's fine. It would be cool if you could, like... Um, I guess this game's still... They're still making it. I would love to be able to highlight a load of stuff and drag it out to move it so I don't have to, like, knock it down and rebuild it. That'd be quite nice. Pink Cat Cafe with a cat park. Sounds like a plan to me. space to work with. PJ Palace should be the central point uh, around and have the town around it. I think I would feel a little closed in if that was the case. I, I like being on the edge of town. Can we do like a little roof, roof garden maybe? the cats. There you go. So this is a cat cafe, would you believe? <laughs> a distant lighthouse. Let's see how distant we can go. It's 
not a traditional looking lighthouse, but uh, it's a funky one. It's a funky looking one. We've come so far since we began. Yeah, the cat cafe has cat ears. Arrange, thank you for the six months, dude. Uh, whoa, six months, man, that's half a year. Good content from you, hope you're well. Thank you so much. I'm well, I hope you're well also. Uh, Scale up, thank you for the 100 bits. I was going to suggest building a house for Wiggles, but you seem to have already made the jail. <laughs> yeah, Wiggles definitely lives in the jail. A rival dog cafe. I'm gonna do a rival dog cafe. The dog cafe is going to be a little bit more... Can I, can I do this? Hold on. Try and give it like floppy dog ears. I think that's gonna come across. Whoops. Alright, believe it or not, this is supposed to look like a dog. This <laughs> does not look like a dog in any way. The dog cafe just keeps going up. It just keeps going higher and higher. The tower of the dog. Jesus. <laughs> great dog. This is a this is very great a dog. <laughs> there you go. There's the rival dog. I mean, you know what? Actually, that's fair. I think that's that's a fair comparison. Dog warts. <laughs> very good. Uh, Phoebe's Knees. Thank you for the 13 months, dude. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to you too, my dude. Alright. Island's looking good. I think we're almost ready to move everybody in. Can I have a house above your house? Can't. Not possible. You can have a house over here. <laughs> my house is... Uh, my, my palace must be untouched. Can I have a yellow and blue house? Of course. You can go over near the uh, the haunted snowy house slash the dog cafe. There you go. Lovely. Beautiful. We do already have a wizard tower. I believe it's this one here. This is the wizard's tower, the blue and uh, green one. I think, at least. We've built so much, I'm forgetting where everybody lives. I, I know where I live. Can you build a teeny house with a big staircase? Uh, I can try. How would I do a big staircase? Uh, 
I don't think you can do a big staircase. I'll remove the base. Kind of like that. Although I kind of liked what we had a minute ago, actually. I quite like, uh... It's not quite what you asked for, but this is cute. That is very cute. Can I have a pyramid? I can try. I don't know if I can do a pyramid in this game. Hey, there we go. It's kind of a pyramid. Kind of. Oh, we need to join you to the land, actually. Hold on. Very cute. Sweet potato restaurant with interior patio. A sweet potato restaurant. <laughs> uh, some of these suggestions are definitely outside of the realm of what is possible in the game, but I will give it my best shot. Uh, with interior patio. We're going to have to imagine there's an interior patio in there. <laughs> That's the sweet potato restaurant. Just there. Wonderful. Can we have a maid cafe? Uh, I think I'm going to have to draw the line. I'm going to have to draw the line there, I'm afraid. An Overlook Hotel. <sighs> Seems like a big job. I'm, sk I'm skipping on the Overlook Hotel. Can I get a tiny greenhouse? Absolutely you can. The tiniest greenhouse possible. Cozy beach house near the water. I mean, everywhere will technically be near the water, uh, but absolutely. Here you go. Neighbors. Does anyone else want to live right here? Anyone else want to live right here? Purple, you want a purple house? Boom. The real estate business is booming. Does anyone else want to live on this little stretch? Pink? You got it. Can I go Clover? Who else? Yellow? Okay. Anyone else? Blue? You got it. Anyone else? Can I have a yellow house? Yep. Do a slightly different shade of yellow. Make it slightly bigger. Lovely row of terrace houses there. Opposite? That's not a bad idea, actually. We'll do some houses opposite. Can I get an entire building? Of course you can, Lydia. What color? What color? Pink? Pink? 
There you go. This is this entire building is yours. Anyone else want to live here? We got some. Uh, we got some small houses going. Does anyone want a small house? Can I have a little red one? Of course. Separate it a little bit. Orange. And we got room for one more house. Who wants it? Little teal. Beautiful. Look at that. Very colorful little street there. Very nice. All right. <laughs> what have we built? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of beautiful in a way. I think, uh, I think I'm just about done with this, you know? I think I'm just about done. Uh, can I save this? Will it save? What's this? Oh, different times of the day. Whoa, oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Oh my God. <laughs> what is this setting? Oh. Look at that. What is this? Ugh. This is if you take away all the lighting entirely. Look at that, guys. Should we get... Hang on a minute. I think around this music is uh, beautiful, but uh, we'll, we just need to take a moment here to appreciate what exactly we've done. Take a look at this. The sweet potato town is complete. Everybody has a little house, and uh, this is now where we live. It's a lovely little town, little fishing village where nothing goes wrong. Well, apart from when things do go wrong, we're well equipped for that because we have a jail. <laughs> Over here, we have the, uh, we have the dog cafe. We have the cat cafe. We have the lighthouse to look out for boats coming into town. We have the Wizard's Tower. We have the Town Hall. And the Post Office, of course. And who could forget the Mackie D's? Where's the Mackie D's? Where's the McDonald's gone? I know I put it in here somewhere. Does anybody remember where we put the McDonald's? Um... 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 <laughs> you'll find it. If you spend long enough here, you'll find it. And of course, it couldn't be complete without my, my house. Look at that. This is where I live. I don't know why my controls are suddenly inverted, but uh, here we are. This is my place right here. This is where I rest, up in the top of the tower. This is where I come out and think. Look out at the ocean. I use these binoculars to look out over the village, make sure everyone's doing okay. Make sure there's no danger. This is where I do my workshop art stuff. And this, this is where Fuji lives. And it's wonderful. And uh, that concludes our little town. Look at that. We've made a little town. How about that? The days, they come and go. But boy, do we have fun here. Love it. I'll uh, I'll take a little screenshot. Oh wait, that was a square screenshot. Uh, 
let's do a... Where's that? Where has that saved? I don't even know where that's saved. Oh, in uh, app data. Okay. I'll take a few different variations. Should we name it? I think it's named Sweet Potato Island. I think it's Sweet Potato Island, you know. Beautiful. Good work, everybody. Good work. <laughs> you prefer Bozo Land? Bozo Land is also pretty applicable. Save to clipboard. Great job. <laughs> I don't know if there's a way to save this town. What, how, how do I get out of this? Quit? Well, I quit the game. I have no idea if that's going to reload. If I ever go back to that. But hey, we did it. We did a little townscaper. How chill was that? <laughs> Very chill. Um, oh, I think I missed... Did I miss this sub? Abamadi with the 11 months? So happy to have these streams, even though I don't often get to catch them live. Last year, I watched over 1,300 hours of your VODs. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much, dude. That is uh, that is wild. Uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, those VODs are now mostly gone, but... Thank you nonetheless. Hundred percent. I'm gonna make a Kiki's delivery service-inspired illustration of this town. You should, dude. That'd be awesome. I'd love to. I'd love to see it if you did. Um, yeah. You gotta do some modded Katamari one day. What is modded Katamari? What does that consist of? What kind of mods have people done for it? Thanks for the chill stream and congrats on beating Path of Pain so fast. I completely forgot we did that. My god. It feels like a million years ago that we did that. Katamari with ray tracing? Are you for real? Skyrim mod. Sign in to confirm your rage. What is this, 18 plus? Come on. Oh, you're gonna have the little prince with a gun. Wow. I mean, it sounds believable. Eight of the funniest mods for Skyrim. I'll be the judge of that. with like bongos or something. Oh, play Katamari but in a in a strange way. Maybe. I've done Katamari before on stream and um I don't know if I necessarily feel uh, like I want to play it again like soon soon. I I did I enjoyed playing it but just kind of like just the once really. I don't know if I'd need to do it again. Katamari with a DDR mat. What about this? Check, check this out. Katamari. But I use my Katamari... Uh, ignore that shit on my, on my side table there. Katamari. But I use an actual Katamari. And I mod it so when I roll it, the whole thing rolls. <laughs> that would be cool. That would be fun. I don't think I can actually... I don't know how to do that. 
I think next week I'm going to start a new uh, series of a game with a weird controller setup. I'm not going to do it this week because I've actually... Um, I've got a bit of a full week all of a sudden. I've got quite a lot to edit. And I don't actually know if I'm going to be on stream tomorrow uh, on Twitch. But I'll be around on Thursday. And then Friday, I have my second vaccine jab. So, uh, I don't know if I'll be on stream on Friday. I would like to if I, feel, if I don't feel too beaten up. I wouldn't mind streaming on Friday. But it kind of, um, it works out quite well because... Um, obviously I can take the weekend to then chill, but yeah, I'll see how I feel. I'll see how I feel, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm, oh man, I'm looking forward to just being vaxxed to the max and ready to go. I want to go lick a toilet seat. I want to go find the dingiest, dirtiest, uh, disco I can find. <laughs> I want to go down to the discotheque and lick a toilet seat. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Just to be clear, I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't. I don't want to do that. Tasty, tasty toilet. It was a joke. <laughs> That's what I come back to. Welcome, Levi. Stop! You violated the law. Yeah, I definitely violated a few laws there. Definitely violated a few laws on that one. Off to island jail, yeah. I I hold myself. This is me. Handcuff me. Take me away. Licking people's faces again. I can't wait. I know it's gonna be so good. Yeah. Uh, no, I'll, I'll certainly be continuing to uh, practice safe, uh, safe measures, even when I'm fully vaccinated. Is that how the sausage is made? <laughs> What do you mean, Levi? I don't, I've never heard that phrase before before in my life. Uh, what vax am I getting? Uh, I'm getting Pfizer. Uh, the first one I got was Pfizer, so uh, I assume that's what the second one's also going to be. Um, so yeah. Am I am I hearing that PJ Mansion is up for grabs when you're in jail? Yes. Uh, I. F Hang on a minute. I fear real. Sorry. Let me get this page up a second. I, I'm, I'm never. I. I never equipped for this. Uh, thank you so much for the very kind donation. Is that? Let me check if there's a me a message behind here. Did I? Did I even get? Did I say your name right? Let me check. Recent events. Recent events. Click. 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 I got my first dose of Pfizer a week ago. Congratulations, dude. Uh, I'm trying to load the page to see if there's a message. Uh, it's the one thing. This is why I kind of. This is why I took donations off for quite a while because I can never see. I it, the OBS doesn't show me if there's a message, and now Streamlabs isn't loading. <sighs> Here we go. Glad I finally caught a stream. It's been a while. Thank you very much, dude. Very much appreciated. And it was I fear, I fear reels. Thank you very much, dude. You have a good day. You hear? You have a good day, or else. <sighs> yeah, it, it, yeah. It, it's it's definitely. Uh, I would say is a good thing. I know there's obviously a lot of talk about it online, but I would say it's definitely a good thing if you if you can get vaccinated. It's no different from, uh, it's no different from, uh, there's obviously so much worry about it, but uh, I feel like um, growing up, I never, we would do the thing in the UK at least, where we would get our vaccines in school. For some reason it would be during a school day, which I guess makes sense, uh, but we would get uh, our, our all different kinds of shots uh, whilst we were at school. I never questioned it. I was just like, "Oh, okay, cool. I don't want to get a, I don't want to get tuberculosis. Okay, I'll I'll take a shot for that. Okay." Um, so I'm kind of I'm not really questioning it now. I feel like, from everything I've read, from everything I as far as I understand, the pros of getting it outweigh the the cons of getting it, quite largely. Wait, did I did I say that correctly? Yeah, the pros of getting it. Yeah. 
think I, I think I said that how I meant it. Oh, I didn't tell the story from earlier. Hold on, I didn't tell the story from earlier. It's not a very fun story. It was just something I was thinking about today. Today I was thinking about, um, I, I, I was helping my friend move out of his flat, so I, I drove I drove across town to, to help out. Um, we loaded up my car with their worldly belongings, and uh, I've stored them in my workshop for now. Um, and on the drive, I was, for some reason, for some reason I was thinking back to when I was in school. I remember when I was in school, I think I was about maybe 16, and, uh, I remember that they, one of the sort of optional courses we could take were like driving lessons, which is a bit wild, really. It wasn't like a full, full one-on-one -on -one lesson. It was like, if, it, if it's a class of a bunch of kids, you you know, everybody was in, you know, everybody got to learn about it. It was a lot of theory. It was more, more just like the theory of driving, which is very helpful, you know, because that obviously costs money. Uh, so it was, it was nice that it was an optional free thing in my school. Not for long, just a few months. Anyway, so I remembered uh, there was one day where the teacher was like, okay, so now, one by one, I'm going to take you out and we're going to have a little drive around the playground in my car. Which was interesting. So uh, we had a little drive around uh, the playground in the car. And for, I don't know why I remembered this today. I remembered, so this was the first time I had ever been behind the wheel of a car. Okay, I was 16. And I remember coming back into the classroom afterwards. Like, it didn't go very well. I think I went like five miles per hour. I did a couple of turns and that was it. But I remember getting back into class and these other guys were like, did you stall the car? And I was like, yeah, because I did, because I did, I stalled the car. Because I'd never driven a car before. Stalling, if you're, if you're not aware, is obviously in the UK, we mainly have manual cars. Cars with like a manual uh, gear stick transmission. Uh, and so if you don't do the clutch and the accelerator just right, you stall, which means you have to restart the engine. Uh, obviously, cars are a lot more modern these days, and they actually have... My car actually has a function where if you do stall, it just immediately comes back on. Anyway. No, stall. Stall. Like, stall the car. Stall. Uh, S-T-A-L-L. -L. And, uh, yeah, I remember these... It was, like, embarrassing to stall the car on your first go. And they were like, so did you stall? And I was like, yeah. And they were, like, laughing at me. I was like, dude, this is, the, this is the first time I've sat behind the wheel of a car. What are you laughing at me for? Come on. Anyway, I don't know what made me think of that today. But I was just thinking about that. I was like, come on. Come on. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's, that's school for you. That's school for you. <laughs> Look at the staller. Yeah. It's like a pretty common thing, you know. It's a pretty... I guess it's a pretty common thing when you're learning to drive. And even if we, when you've learned. I think I might have even stalled today. Yeah, well, I was at the traffic lights. And I thought I was in first, but I was in third. And I went to move off and the car stalled. But it just... It came back on and I went into first. Anyway... When I get a new car, I'm going automatic, baby. I'm going automatic. I don't care what anyone says. I'm going automatic. I'm going electric. I'm going automatic. And nobody can stop me. Nobody. Uh, Envy Mika, thank you so much for the 17 months, dude. Haha, <laughs> months go brr. They do go brr. They do. <laughs> the future is now. Yeah, ma'am. Uh... I, I do like manual, but at the same time, I like driving manual. It gives me something to do when I'm driving, but at the same time, I don't know if you've driven an automatic, but it's so it's so much easier. <laughs> it's so much easier. <laughs> I have automatic because I have dodgy knees. It makes a long drive very a lot more comfortable. It makes a long drive a lot more comfortable, for sure. My bro lends us his auto truck uh, for my moving. It was so weird to drive it. It definitely feels weird because it's just like it's this. It boils it down to its simplest, uh, it the simplest form. One pedal makes you go. One pedal makes you stop. Whereas in you know with manual. It's, oh, and there's a third pedal that has to be pressed down at the exact right moment, at the exact right time, the exact right amount, and brought back up at the exact right time, the exact right amount. In combination with the accelerator, 
that has to go down at the right amount and up at the right... It's it's a dance. It's basically a dance. Uh, it's basically a little dance you have to do. So yeah, I'm probably gonna... I, I don't mind. It's sort of... It's second nature to me now. I've been driving for years, so it's kind of like... Um, it's like muscle memory. But I'm ready to... I'm ready to go automatic. Uh, although, if you live in the UK, I would recommend... I, I mean, well, not even just the UK, but I would advise, if I had to, I'd advise learning manual. I think it's good to know. My mouse is about to die. Hold on. I think it's helpful to know. Imagine you get into a situation where you're like, oh, this pregnant woman is dying, and the only way to save her is if someone drives her to the hospital. But the car's a manual. Will you know? Will you have the skills to step up and save the pregnant woman? I will. I'll see if I'll see what I've got on that night. If I'm if 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 I have if I have to get home to watch Loki, I it's going to be difficult to know what to do exactly because I don't want to see I don't want any spoilers. You know, I gotta I gotta make sure I watch Loki before I get any of the spoilers. Imagine that. Imagine if I'm like, okay, you know what? I'll do the right thing. I'll do the right thing, and I drive her to the hospital. And on the way, she spoils the ending of Loki for me. She's like, y I just couldn't, I just, I just don't know what I would, I would probably have to, you know, finish the job, get to the hospital safely, go home and just watch it and deal with, deal with the fact that it's been spoiled for me. <sighs> no, I'm not throw throwing her out of the car. Spacey, mad. I've got my eye on you. No, 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 no. She's pregnant and dying. I didn't insinuate I would do that. <laughs> no, no, no. We don't eat. No yeeting. Come on, guys. We're better than this. Right. I actually have to go. Um, I, uh, yes, dying. Of what, you may ask? Food poisoning. Someone's poisoned her because she's the queen of Sweet Potato Island. And guess what? We didn't build a hospital on Sweet Potato Island. So I have to get her on a boat and then sail to the nearest island. And did you see any islands out there? I certainly didn't. I saw no surrounding islands. Anyway, enjoy Loki tomorrow, everybody. Um, stay safe, of course. And uh, I'm going to go and uh, lay down some grass. I'm going to go lay down some turf. I got, I got, I'm going to take a picture to show. It's, I, it's a lot. Of, it's a lot. It's a, it's, a, it's a lot of turf. Maybe too much. We will see. We will see. Thank you for joining me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, have a good one. I'll see you very soon. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe not tomorrow. Maybe the day after. I'm not too sure. Um, but yes. Take care. Thank you for all the kind subs, gift subs, and bits, and, and donations, my guys. Too kind. You're too kind. Have a chill one. Take care. I'll see you very soon. Goodbye.